we're trying out a roundabout. A game about, uh, well, you're a limo driver. Gotta take people places. There's FMV cutscenes. I have never played this game before, and, you know, usually when I try these out, I try it out for, like, a few minutes just to make sure it's working, you know, to have a basic handle on how the game goes. I have not done that tonight. I haven't done that. So this is just pure going in blind, which probably means this is going to go real bad. But I mean, that's I guess that's what we're doing because I, I don't have any time anymore. So this is how it's going to go. Uh, this game came out in 2014. And the thing that I find funny about it is that in 2018, four years later, a Vita port was released supporting the Vita late in its life. Well, let's press let's press A to start. I'm gonna choose a safe slot. New game? Sure, let's do it. Ah, the city of Roundabout. The big twist. The city that always spins. If you can drive through here, you can drive through anywhere. Now, you might notice that things are a little peculiar around here. Well, that's because this is Roundabout. Everyone does things different around here. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Hi there, uh, Geo Riggio Manus. Meet Giorgio Manos, the world's first revolving limousine driver. Great. Well, I'll be the instructor for your limousine operator's test, so just keep things straight and quick, and this will be over ASAP. Hmm. If only our pal here could see inside Giorgio's head. See, there's only one way this chauffeur drives. And it's with a twist. Giorgio never stopped revolving. As a kid, Giorgio learned to move with the spin, instead of fighting it. Alright, here we go. Did it. People, small obstacles. Nothing could stop Giorgio from twisting and turning. And I assume I don't want I don't want the limo to hit things. Maybe I do? Things taller than a limousine. But against everything else. Unstoppable. Maybe I wanted to hit some things but not others. The DMV gate. Well, I guess you passed, barely. Here's your driving report. You'll get one of these after every ride. Enjoy the thrilling world that is the luxury transportation industry, I guess. And there are only a few casualties. With a limo license, the world was Giorgio's oyster. Passengers everywhere would experience a true revolution in transportation. But at what cost? Hey kid, the name's Mickey. Mickey the Mechanic. I've never seen anyone drive like you just did at the DMV. Can you show me some more? I need a ride to my shop down the block. I mean, it is an impressive way of driving if it's not practical. This spinning thing is even better from the inside. I can't drive over that. I was trying to take a short cut. The cut that is short, it that didn't work out. Look, I'm new to the revolving limousine business. This, this is the future of transportation. Got an upgrade ability? What is that? Oh, slow motion? So you might think that there being casualties on this trip is bad. The way I see it, that just means we'll be remembered. Wow, kid. Have you ever thought of going pro? Look, if you ever want to take on the city, just come back to me. Hell, I'll even help you out with parts. You and me, kid, we could go all the way. All the way to what? Okay, okay. You just met me. It's a little weird. But kid, seriously, think about it. I'll be right here at the garage. Where are we where are we going? Where are we going all the way to? Gotta pick up the kids. Look, inside this limo is the safest place the kids could be. Hi, 
Driver? I'm sorry, my car is stuck at the stupid mechanics and my kid is late for school. Can you give her a ride there? Thanks. Communicating silently was Giorgio's bread and butter with just a quick look. Probably fine. We just need a little practice. And you know, it, it's probably good for children to be exposed at an early age to, to you know, vehicular homicide. I shouldn't call it homicide. That like makes it sound bad. We made it. Alas, all good things must come to an end. Giorgio needed to get these pint-sized pals to school. Out left. I mean, speeding up doesn't really seem like something I need to do at this moment. We could do that. fun. I'm glad the kids are having a good time. Maybe we should get like a, a shorter limo? I'm just spitballing here. I'm just saying that, you know, if we're gonna be driving. Keep going, please, pretty please. All fine. I'm just saying that if we're gonna be driving a limo, maybe we should get like a shorter one. Just an idea. There's like a star over where I was, according to the map. Well, let's see. It's over there. I see it. I mean, getting there is like a bit of a different thing, but I do see it. Do you feel like that the the way this game came about was just I'm heading to the school's baseball field. There was like a conversation someone had at some point. Yeah, so I teach both driving and baseball. You want to make a big deal about it? About like a, a game where the limo just kept spinning. Face those balls themselves. Let's go, Giorgio. And like the the whole game was built around it. And like maybe the like the FMV cutscenes and such, maybe the maybe the ideas for that came later. But like the first idea, the first part of it was that the limo just keeps spinning. You kinda wonder how those conversations go. Learning and buildings, but they can't even put a baseball stadium on campus. Priorities, am I right?
You know, what we're doing... It's worse than I thought. I don't know if what they're doing even counts as baseball. No, no, they're not following any kind of rules. Listen up. Hey, listen up. I don't know what you're doing here, but in this town, we play baseball. You see this chauffeur here? Even Giorgio can play better baseball than you. Show him. Giorgio had never used a limousine as a baseball bat before, but there's a first time for everything. Oh, I, I guess I've just... Okay, I figured I was trying to spin the limo to get it right at the right angle to get the ball going. All right, kids, see? That's how you do it. Now get out there and give me ten laps. Come on, move, move, move! You know, it does bring up an interesting idea. Why doesn't car baseball exist? Baseball that is played in cars. We'll take the challenge. Giorgio, the school is demanding that I teach soccer now. Apparently this isn't America anymore. You seem like someone who knows what soccer is. Can you show these kids how to bounce a soccer ball or whatever it is that you do in your sport? You know, wherever I'm from in the world, they probably play soccer. I should probably do that. Bounce the ball. Challenge complete. I should probably try it again. Okay, just have it bounce off the roof. All right, let's return to the world. Like, we bounced it. Not many times, but the ball was bounced. Pick up the date guy. Yeah, my date down the road. Well, uh, I mean, we're seeing a movie after, but, well, she's just meeting me. Oh, gosh. All right. We'll hope that date gets off on the right foot. Oh, no. What if she's allergic to flowers? Damn it, Steve, you ruined everything. I mean, you, could have no you couldn't have known that, Steve. Hi. Uh Let's let's go, driver. To the movies? So, uh you like movies? Yeah. Movies are okay. You like movies? Yeah. I love movies. What about you? Uh -oh. Ask her about movies again. Arrow was pointing down there, but how do I get past this wall? Oh, the entrance is right there. It's a dangerous th theater. They should probably do something about that. So, do I pay you now, or later, or do I- Oh! Thanks, Giorgio. Wait, you got a limo to drive us to the drive-in theater? Damn it, Steve! Oh, Steve, that one's your fault. Oh, wait, there's like a star in the lower right. Where is that? It's not in here. I guess it's on the. Oh, okay. I can just go through this. I can just go through that. Pick up Elizabeth. Giorgio was beginning to get the hang of this whole limousine for hire thing. Little did Giorgio know that a curveball was about to land in the back seat. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Are you, you're Giorgio? Ah, oh, thank goodness you're here. I'm running a little behind. You see, uh, Julia's wedding is at eleven. Not one, so we need to book it. Let's go, Giorgio. 
Oh no, going fast is not really our forte. Why does this keep happening? Hello? I'm glad someone appreciates it. Not everyone does. Far out! Did you come up with this? You could call it Giorgio's Turnover Cop. Wait, no, that's stupid. How about Revolving Giorgio's Spinning? I'm not going to call it anything now. I'll get back to you on that one. You are just the bee's knees. Thank you so much. Hey, so I'm only in town for a little bit, but I could sure use a groovy driver like you to show me around. And hey, having someone in uniform take me for a spin around town would be a pretty groovy bonus, right? What, is it professional to date our clients? I'm not a limo driver myself. Oh, bless you, my child. We appear to have something of a problem. I am meant to be joining two people in holy matrimony, but we appear to be missing the groom. We must fetch him post haste. Is it your job to find the groom, father? Oh, I knew this would be a bad one. This gentleman seemed disreputable from the start. Such a shame. The bride is such a peach. She could definitely do a lot better. I think I see him. Pull past him and I'll drag him in. I should not have tried to do that. Wow, he really manhandled him. Head back to the church. Well, thank you, my son. This hungover wreck will marry the lovely Julia, and it's all thanks to us. No, no, I can't do this. New plan, Giorgio. I drop this wreck off in front of the church, and you drop me off at the bus stop up north. Sound reasonable? Oh, don't give me that judgmental stare. Would you marry these two if you were in my shoes? Well, I had a good run, I reckon. Well, maybe being dying in an exploding limo is an appropriate way to go. What's done is done. Lord, forgive me for abandoning my flock. Uh, good luck to you, Giorgio. Well, I suppose it's time to move again. I hear the mountains are lovely this time of year. I guess this is not the first, first time he's had to pack up shop. Let's pick up Ronaldo. Bonjour, Giorgio. No, no, I will not be riding with you today. I am, how you say, watching from afar. I have heard stories about a new driver with a certain je ne sais quoi. Care to show me your magics? Does this really count as dropping someone off? I mean, it, I guess as long as we get paid. Such a novel idea. Oh dear. Aha! But how do you change direction? Hit the blue tires? Okay. Oh, very clever, Giorgio. Running over the 
Oh, bad. It's good publicity. Like, there might be a fine later, but... It's advertising, you know. People won't hear of us unless, you know, we do something to stand out. Oh. Just a little too small. A little too small to get in there. You know, one thing I feel like this game has been lacking so far. There's been a lack of people telling me to to take them to Tower Records while the uh, while the Offspring plays. I feel like that should happen and just hasn't happened. the information I needed. My foolish friend. A revolving chauffeur. Of course, it is brilliant. I'll be a celebrity. My gift to you, Giorgio, is that when I take over the world as the best revolving limousine driver, I will crush your precious limousine last. Watch your step. So long. Well, I mean, that just means we have to come up with a new gimmick. What if in addition to rotating... We also, like, spin, like, like, drill-wise. Becoming like a spinning drill limousine. Get out of the way. Oh, we can pick up Elizabeth again. Giorgio was beginning to get the hang of this. Oh, no, it's just the same one. Okay, we can redo these missions. I mean, of course, you have to do it multiple times to perfect your spinning. Giorgio's turnover. Time. Become a master spinner. That's stupid. How about evolving Giorgio's spinning limousine? I'll get back to you on that one. Clearly, our limo needs more horsepower. I'm sure we can make it souping up enough that we could go through a tree. No, 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 no. Those trees are just asking for it, really. Right here, right here. Just there in the way. Who do they think they are? All right, so let's see. It looked like that, yeah, the next star is in the southeast. Let's see if we can get there. How do we get down there? Maybe we just, let's try going north. East. It's directly to the south of us. They don't want to end up at this vantage point. But that's not how we get to where we need to be. up here.
That doesn't seem like safe driving, what those red cars are doing. They need to really take a lesson in driving safety. We can purchase this. Sure, I'll buy some property. All right, here's the next star. Pick up Charles Maximilian. Charles Maximilian for Giorgio Manos. Please hold. Hello there, my chatty chauffeur. I have a task that needs attending to in my suburban getaway. I do it myself, but I'm stuck in the city attending these blasted meetings. If you could pop by and take care of a few things, everyone here at Maximilian Enterprises would be most grateful. All right. They just leave piles of cash in this part of town. In my yard? This will not stand. Nobody messes with Charles Maximilian. Are you look, looking through my dash cam, Charles? Non-millionaire treasure. Their mailboxes? Good. Take care of those mailboxes for me. I don't remember giving Charles authorization to be able to view our dash cam. I don't know. Bye. Take care. I mean, run. Oh, oh. Oh, you're already out doing it. Good job. Yeah, I'm, I'm ahead of that. Ahead of the game. friend. If you were ever in the city of Roundabout, stop by my fantastic tower and say hello. <laughs> hey, hey. I feel like these conversations are very relatable. It's a lot how conversations go with me in real life. Phone conversations can be a little difficult, though. Let's pick up Beth. This one's new. Hey, you! I'm so glad you called. So, where are we going on our date? Okay, okay. No pressure. How about we just start off simple? How about we go to the mall? It's just down the road. I heard it's the second biggest mall in Round. It even has a food court. Wow, a mall with a food court? What luxury. Also, Beth, if you want a date, you're, we're going to have to make an arrangement for when I'm off duty. Come on, Giorgio. Let's get out of this car. Calling a limo under the pretense that you need a ride only for it to be an attempt at a date is unprofessional and inappropriate. What did I say? Uh, disco something. Oh, disco something's disco supplies for disco. Okay, it's a disco store. You want some disco supplies? They got you. They got you here. Again. Yeah, you know, I've never seen a car dealership in a mall. So I guess this place does have everything. So, tell me about your stuff. I love that ad! Yeah, I've got two. 
Wow, there's multiple disco stores in this mall? You wouldn't think there would be a need for that many. Well, we found somewhere quiet. Just, you know, it wasn't quiet for long. Oh, actually, it's over there now. Well, let's see. That one seems like a toughie. Unless there's a way we can get there. No, it doesn't seem like it. I mean, there is money in here. We might as well get the money. Well, unless this is... Okay, that's not... That's not... They really need to reinforce that. This place, ducks, trees. <sighs> I feel like I can really be myself here. Thanks so much, Giorgio. You're, you're real special. Call me soon, okay? Is this turning into man enough? Will the dating sequence compare to that masterpiece? Oh my goodness, you've come at just the right time. Shh. Look, it's an incredibly rare straight lurping hover eagle. Nobody's seen it in 50 years. Quick, we need to tag it before something bad happens. Follow that eagle. All right. <laughs> God, look at that majesty. It is majestic. You're right, you're right about the maj the majesty, yes. Oh no. What are they doing here? It's the Roundabout Endangered Bird Hunting Committee. We've got to stop them. It's a sorry. committee for the only way to protect our environment. hunting endangered birds specifically. I mean, it, it seems illegal, but I'll take your word for it. I think that does it. Wow, look at that beautiful bird. Wow. Thank you, Giorgio. The Parks Department and Nature thanks you. All right, it feels good to be a hero, I guess. Swedish tourist. Oh, their driver? Please to take me to the soccer Chris. Yes, yes, you've got it. Let us going, Georgie. We gotta find the soccer Chris. Look, we're a professional. We're gonna take the take the people to where they need to be. Even if we might not be entirely clear on where they need to be. Georgie, this is not right. Take me to soccer, Chris. Hey, hey, this is still not right. Are you playing a joke at me, Georgie? Soccer, Chris. What does that say? Gro Grocer Co. It's out of this world. Well, I am looking for out of this world savings, I guess. Yeah, 
ja, the soccer grass. It took you too long to carry us there for Treva. Thanks to you, Georgie. I mean, we get our passengers to where they need to be, even if we might be a little late. you could pick me up. Could you give me a ride to the bus depot? Oh, Giorgio. I know. It's hard for me to go home too. But we can have this one last ride together. At least for now. Let's go, Giorgio. You know, one thing that is realistic about this game is that when you're a blank slate, people who talk to you can pro just project whatever they want onto you. Remember that time we were at the park? And that duck? <laughs> Good times, Giorgio. As I say, Limorama. Ah, the limo upgrade zone. Well, we don't need that. You should come visit for a weekend. I uh, hear they even have a new revolving guy, just like you. Well, he's French Canadian, but hey, you can't have everything, right? Yeah, I'm just here at the depot. You know. You could come with me and move to the city. I mean, I'm sure you'd do swell in the big city, and I'd... Well, it's kind of selfish, but... I'd really just like to have you all to myself, all the time. If you ever change your mind, give me a call. I'll be waiting, at least for a while. Is romance in the air? I mean, I guess it depends on if they allow rotating limos in the city. Kid, you're a sight for sore eyes. Does this mean what I think it means? What do you think it means? Fantastic! Well, kid, I think it's time we moved on to some bigger fish. Let me show you the way into the city. Oh, yeah, we are heading into the city. I hope they have some wide lanes. Love the city, kid. Fast streets, fat businessman wallets. I'm telling you, it's easy street. If it is, if it's easy street, why doesn't everyone drive limos in the city? There must be some catch to it. Oh yeah, the highway construction, kid. It's time to break some rules. Ready to take your driving to another level? Ah, okay, I guess we're gonna jump. I guess we, we're gonna have to jump. Nice work. Now, this last step is all up to you. Just drive through that tunnel to Roundabout City. Once you get through, come meet up with me. We'll take on this town together. And probably knowing the limo could have jumped. I imagine there could have been some 
uses for that. I knew you'd come around, kid. Look, I've got the perfect plan. Just take me to Chinatown and I'll take care of the rest. Just, just follow the arrow, Giorgio. Man, this kid sometimes. I don't know, I think that if we're talking about our future, we need to get some details as to what it is we're doing here. You know, you don't want to just follow someone who says, just trust me, I'll take care of everything. Maybe they don't have your, your best interests in mind. Yeah, yeah, you just, just up here in the alley. Yeah. Nice one. You and me, kid, we're going to go far. Stick with me, and this city will be yours inside of a week. Leo, just the man I need. I got a job that only your hands are good for. Hi, quick, quick, let's get going. I've got to get to City Hall. It's a matter of life and death. Go. Uh, all right. I'll make sure, if it's a matter of life and death, I'll make sure plenty of people die on the way there. I think that's, that's what that means, right? Well, maybe not death, but... And now that you mention it, not really life. Oh, we, we, did we commit a crime? Thanks so much. We did good today. We did a real good thing. I mean, good. Looking at, you know, th thinking about it in retrospect, I guess the bandolier of bullets she was wearing probably should have been a clue. Dear chauffeur, the roundabout military is pleased to advise you of advanced weapons testing occurring in your area within the next 10 seconds. Not being killed by said advanced weaponry would be most appreciated. Love, General SS Bombsworth. Mm hmm. All right. I guess we should play the challenge. Avoid falling cars. Oh, those come down pretty quick. All right. We lasted a few seconds. again, my revolving fellow. I'm late for my inspection of the Maximilian Tower's construction site. Chop chop. Alright, he's a busy man. Fortunately, he hired this no-nonsense chauffeur. Oh, we have to get up there.
yes, this is coming along splendidly. I can't even see what that blasted mayor disliked. The allergies. I think it's Mr. Giorgio? Yeah, yeah, you just keep going. I don't know who Jeeves is. Mr. Mayor, thank you for your discretion. This whole construction fatalities matter. I'm sure this fine suitcase will set things straight. Onwards, Jeeves. It's time for a well-earned vacation on my yacht. <laughs> oh no, we just witnessed a bribe. Well, fortunately, uh, I mean, I guess we're, I guess we won't be telling anyone. West roundabout is so gaudy. Barely can stand. Thank you kindly, Jeeves. I'll just wait here for my yacht. Telly ho, pip pip, cha ta, and all that. That went well. You made it out to the city. As am I, Giorgio. Bonjour, Elizabeth. Ugh, is this that Ronaldo guy that you were telling me about? Wait, how does he even hear what I'm saying? None of that's important right now, young mademoiselle. What is important is that your revolving amour is trespassing on Ronaldo country. Hey! I don't I don't think that's the name of the city. You think stealing it is gonna achieve anything? You'll never be as good as Giorgio. Ho ho! I'm already the best, and I'll prove it. Just try and beat me to upper roundabout. This shall be uproarious. You've got this, baby. Teach this Eiffel turkey a lesson. All right, I, well, are we, I guess we're racing? I mean, I don't, I don't see who we're racing against. He's above us. While the pedestrian right of way laws may be lax around about, destroying someone's car is tantamount to treason. Actually, I'm not really sure what it's over what. Like, we're racing him. I guess we didn't have to. See, you are wasting your time here, Giorgio. Go back to the baby merry-go-rounds of the suburbs and leave us grown adults alone. Ronaldo, over and out. It's okay. We made it here alive. Just, just hang in there, okay? Don't, don't do anything rash. We got this, okay? Look at me. We got this. Giorgio, of course, is well known for flying off the handle. An incredibly hot temper. We have seen. Hey, mate, thanks for the ride. I got a Bonza soccer game going up north. Yeah, mate. Up north? Take me for a ride up to the park? Well, we're new here in the city. I take a little doing to find the park. Cheers, mate. I was gonna chuck a sicky, but you know, I figure whatever. May as well play around. No. 
Yeah, just uh, chuck the ball in one of those goals over there. Cheers, mate. Sweet as. Okay, mate. Get me back to my place up a hill. I've got an S full of VB with my name on it. Oh, you're done with soccer? And I, re I remember soccer games taking a lot longer than that. Maybe the game's changed. are a dead set legend. Cheers. I, so, I don't know. I, re I remember soccer taking a lot longer than that. Um, well, I, we're just about at an hour now, so I guess that would be our look at Roundabout, a game about uh, Giorgio. Just a uh, just doing a job. And uh, this job just seems to be made unnecessarily complicated by these colorful, colorful personalities that are getting in the limo, having to go somewhere. And uh, sometimes that... Sometimes that might involve trying to save a, a wedding or deciding that the wedding's not going to happen after all or having a race. Or possibly getting up to some unprofessional romance. These are all things that could happen. In Roundabout, um, I don't have the points thing up right now. But I guess if we were to ask, is there any um, immorality in Roundabout? Uh, the pedestrians are pretty immoral. They get in the way of the car. We know the roads are for motor vehicles. And... Uh, the, the, the rules of the road says that if someone's in the road and you turn them into a red smear with your car, uh, you were in the right because you were in a car. Uh, that's, a, that's what the rules say. And um, I, I don't see anything immoral about Giorgio. But the pedestrians need to learn road safety is, I think, what's happening here. Is it erotic at all? Eh, there was the hint of maybe a romance. Um, but negative erotic points for doing it on the job. Like I said, the job comes first. I think Beth might be disappointed to find that Giorgio is married to the road. That's what the rotating is about. It's a love dance. It's, uh, you know, Beth's heart is de destined to be broken, it seems. Is there any suspense? No, I don't think so. Giorgio is a professional and will get the passenger to where they need to be, no matter how many people have to die to, to make that happen. You can, you can rely on Giorgio, guaranteed to get you there. Um... Like I said, I just feel that someone should have hopped in and said, take me to Tower Records. And I don't, uh, I didn't see any, I didn't, it didn't happen. 
Maybe later. Maybe that would happen later on. In Roundabout. For the PC. 